Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here going to show you how to create multiple chart layouts for different companies within Interactive Brokers TWS. Here's how we do it. First off from your home screen, you either want to right click one of your instruments in your watch list here and click on new chart, or you want to actually go up to the top left, click new window and click chart. That way you can manipulate this chart and edit it as you see fit. Any indicators you want to add to the chart can be done by right clicking and going to add study or you can use the edit tab at the top, but it's also explained in previous videos linked here in the top right. If you wanna add another stock chart to our view, all we do is click on file, click add chart to window and click on a new underlying here. Let's go with Disney stock and same kind of time period. You can change it if you wish, but time period comes up and click okay. And boom, we have another yearly one line stock chart for Disney showing the same data as Apple. If you want to add one more, you can also do this by clicking the little button here that isn't shown, but it looks like this. If you can click right click and configure toolbar and go to add chart to window, click that on, click apply. This little Jimmy here in the top left is going to show you how to add chart to window. And we're going to add another chart. Let's do Walmart. Let's add that to our window. Let's resize this as well. And that's how you can add three different charts to one. If you want to save this layout and save these charts, you can go file, you can click save and click save chart, and you can give it a chart definition file and save it like that. If you do end up closing out these charts, clicking the X's, you can then go back and reload your chart. Just by clicking open chart, clicking that definition file that we just saved, the .def, and those charts will open up and you're back in business. If you want to customize the data shown on these different charts, you can click in the chart and just click the different data tabs display different data. That way you are looking at different data or separate data for the charts. And again, if you want to add any kind of study to your chart, you can go ahead and do that just by clicking in here and clicking on those lines, adding different things like moving averages in the chart, uh, momentum studies, RSI, maybe we can add some all studies here and go in and just look at MACD. Let's add that to the Apple chart and edit it in here as you see fit. And then again, if we wanted to save this and update our charts, we would just go into save, save chart. And if we click that same file again, our definition file will update with these kind of parameters that we have now currently shown. So that if we overwrite it and we close these down, we know that we will then be able to open them up using the same definition file and those charts will pop back in and you are good to go.